overflows love and awareness shubhu dayam let your each sunrise both inner and outer be auspicious to you love and awareness are the sunrise both love and awareness have a cause and effect relation the ultimate flowering of love is awareness and when and when one attains to awareness love springs forth as compassion as new sunrise a life becomes really alive only when love blossoms otherwise it is a tree with no flowers in the absence of love life is a dumb bird that cannot sing a bird without wings that cannot soar high in the sky a life without love is crippled in worldly paralyzed from outside everything will be as it should be but from the inside something is missing something which makes everything valuable and precious something without which it is all dark love is the sunrise from deep within love is the lamp of your innerness the light of the within but love brings many problems sometimes the problem is so big that it seems safer to avoid it it brings anxiety conflict fear and bondage it is absolutely needed these are like pebbles thrown at you and each pebble will be will make your foundation strong each pebble hurl at you in the form of different things conflict anxiety fear will make your foundation of love and life is strong those who live calculatedly whose life style is rooted it rooted in arithmetic whose vision is material the worldly the outside whose vision consists of only of the miserable and the logical they are bound to decide against love introspect they will call love madness and they are not absolutely wrong either in the absence of understanding of the ways of love they are right they have not known the ways of love the sunrise of love has not begun as in them they are right because love brings so many problems that life becomes a turmoil and insanity one loses all balance and then to get out of this is very difficult then one thing leads to another one problem to many problems and process goes on hence the cautious person decides against love when he has decided against love it is decided against life as well then he will find no meaning in life and he will live meaninglessly in the dark in the absence of no sunrise then he simply vegetates and calls it life he drags and he feels continuously that there is no dance no significance but he consoles himself it is so because life is meaningless what can i do and the life continues like this jean paul sartre and other existentialists say life itself is meaningless so it is not your fault life is absurd it is not our fault but they are utterly wrong life is not absurd life is not meaningless but meaning grows when there is sunrise of love 
meaning comes through love and through love you grow into awareness and when awareness the sun of awareness rises from within love attains to its glory a new meaning a flowering many things begin to happen life is only an opportunity to grow into love and to allow myriad flowers to blossom each moment life unfolds many situations for love to grow each moment life unfolds many situations for love to grow love can grow only when there is awareness as awareness increases you will experience many different dimensions of love compassion is one of them love brings problems with it too hence all the religions of the world have decided against love these religions have been invented by the people who are calculating and business like people live with all kinds of calculations the monastery is nothing but an escape from love monastery is nothing but an escape from love love can become without any problem love can become love can blossom without any problems if one more element is added to it if one more element is added to it and that is the element of awareness buddha attained to awareness out of and because of that awareness his love blossomed into many dimensions those who have experienced a moment of awareness in their life they will realize what i am talking about what buddha experienced that he became the embodiment of compassion love can become without problems it can bring myriad flowers if one more element is added to it that is the element of awareness unconscious love creates problem and this is what you have known love as unconscious love it creates problems in fact it is not love that creates problem love does not create and never creates problems that is a, a gross misunderstanding it is the unconsciousness in love that creates problem and that has been your problem unconsciousness in the understanding of love has created problems around you now why these problems are receding like a defeated army or the darkness disappearing as the sun rises indeed love cannot create problems all problems arise because of unconsciousness rightly analyzed you can see clearly from where the problems come does the problem come from the other problem comes from your unconscious your unconscious mind unconscious understanding and precisely the unconsciousness they never come from love itself they come from all problems come from your unconsciousness they come like pebbles being thrown at you you can use those pebbles to make your foundation is strong then the same pebbles that has been hurled at you in the form of anxiety in the form of fear and so will give you 
make your foundation is strong it is unconsciousness that creates jealousy possessiveness domination fear anxiety about the future suspicion doubt and all kinds of such things it is unconsciousness that brings anger hatred and conflict it is not love at all but we are such a mixture that unless you are very aware you will not be able to separate them the moment you become alert you can be separated and once you are able to separate love from unconsciousness and you are conscious of your unconsciousness it starts disappearing because that is the only way to make it evaporate to be conscious of unconsciousness simply means that consciousness cannot allow unconsciousness to exist anymore it is like bringing light into a dark room the moment light is inside the room the darkness disappears yes when you are bringing the lamp of awareness into the room is it still far away and you can see that it is dark closer you come the more you see can see it is dark however the moment you enter the room with the light with the lamp of light of awareness darkness disappears i remember a sufi parable once a mystic was asked by a group of disciples go out and see whether sun has risen as yet or not it is very early the last phase of night and the disciples said there is no need to go i can see from windows that it is very dark and sun has not yet risen but the master said then you can take a lamp with you and go and look for the sun whether it has risen yet or not if it is dark then take a lamp the disciple got puzzled the master looks crazy but he is giving an indication to the disciple certainly he is not talking about the outside world he is talking about the inner world he is saying if it is dark then take the lamp and look whether it is really dark or not when you take the lamp of awareness within that is what the sufi meant and the moment you take the lamp darkness is no more the same happens when you become aware first thing that happens is unconsciousness disappears awareness and love are not separated when all the misery that has remained associated with love is no more associated with love it becomes purified a fragrance the unconscious starts disappearing because you start becoming more and more conscious of it and awareness the sun of awareness is started to rise deep within this is the whole process of the beginning of the inner journey this is the whole process of the beginning of the inner journey only two things have to be remembered love and awareness with love awareness with love and awareness inner search and journey begins love is the fragrance of awareness and awareness is the outcome of love deep within enough for now